scene has, every scene has to do something or, or, or feel something. And I remember that early on, one of my first meetings with Kevin Feige, who runs Marvel, as many of you know, as many of you don't, um, is that he, uh, I remember he said something that sounds very pedantic and probably not the thing to say out loud, but actually weirdly served as an engine, a creative engine. So he was like, you know, make every scene great. <laughs> and I was like, thanks, Kev. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, and then you go home and you're writing, rewriting, and rewriting. And I'm not a good enough writer to just spit it all out and okay. you know just hand it in. I, I'll spend 20 hours on like one paragraph. Detail or, oriented. Or or, I'll, or sometimes it flows out of you like 20 pages in two hours or what, you know you just never know. Um, but I remember that really guiding me in a weird way, which is that, that you, yeah, there are mo moments in movies that are, oh, this scene's about exposition. This is just a bridge to get us and tell us that story. But like, Kevin, that, those words haunted me. I was like, man, we're gonna have to make it great. Like, <laughs> that's hard, you know? I'm talking about, you know, Wolverine wearing his fucking hair shirt suit uh, because he feels bad about himself uh, just so we can explain how the mechanism of how this works was, is, isn't is easy and then suddenly you're like it opens up all this other creativity you're like yes he's wearing the suit because it's a punishment as opposed to just wearing the suit because fans have been waiting for it for 20 years now we have an expositional scene that is also interesting and mm -hmm. at least as far to me I'm saying 